Uh, the next thing I want to talk about are the video questions. Um, I think for, uh, for many candidates, the video questions can uh, be a moment where they really need to sort of take a deep breath and um, uh, lean in to this aspect of the application. Um, we have been uh, using video questions for a number of years and they were originally developed as an alternative to using an English language assessment. Uh, so for this reason, you don't need to su uh, submit any kind of TOEFL or IELTS or any other English language assessment. We feel that we get what we need through the various components of the application, including the video questions. Uh, similar to the behavioral assessment, which Kate mentioned, the video questions will be available to you after you hit submit on your application and pay your application fee. Um, then you give it a few minutes, uh, usually should be about 15 or 20 minutes, and your status page should refresh and you should have access to the video question link on your status portal. At that point, you're taken into the assessment and you're given three randomized previously recorded sessions and no, stu no two candidates should have the same questions. Um, they vary in format depending on the question, um, but there are three questions, two of which you'll have 20 to 30 seconds to collect your thoughts and then 60 seconds to deliver a response. And then on the third question, you'll have um, 30 seconds to consider your answer and then 90 seconds to deliver your response. Um, so we do want to um, get your thoughts on the spot, but we don't want you to be completely uh, caught off guard, if you will. Um, so you do have a little bit of time to prepare. When the video uh, begins, we do want you to be off book, as they say. So look into the camera and speak your answer. Um, but you don't have to fill the whole time. Um, this is a really important point to make, I think. Uh, sometimes candidates will feel they've been given 60 seconds and they need to speak for that entire time, or maybe they finish their response and they just sit there quietly until the camera finishes uh, that 60 second or 90 second period. You could actually stop the camera. Uh, so when you feel that you've given a complete answer, go ahead and just stop and you're able to move on to the next question. We do ask that you complete these in one sitting though. Um, so uh, you get access to the format. You're first going to start by testing your microphone and your video. Definitely, I would encourage doing this. Um, this is all part of being familiar with uh, the tool. Um, so we give you practice questions and I promise you there's no blooper reel. Uh, we, do, uh, we, we have recorded uh, some questions ahead of time and I encourage you to not only test your microphone and your, um, your video camera, but also to practice yourself on how these go. After you finish with the video question practice, you will go right into the assessment. Um, and um, as you uh, can probably already surmise, 60 to 90 seconds for a response time frame is really short. Um, it can go by a lot faster than you might immediately think. So just be prepared for uh, something real quick. And then in general, find a good quiet place with a strong internet connection.